Hi guys, PJ here. It's the 6th of August and a Friday. Zor has returned again and I'm reliably informed he is on Nisus. So let's go to Nisus and have a look. We are going to be spawning in right here at Watcher's Grave. And if you have ever visited this place before, he's on a tree sort of over here. So let's get to it, see what he's got, see if it's worth buying. So if you're new to the game guys, this is where you spawn in just here and see that tree there where everyone's bouncing around, that is where you're going to go. So new players just head straight over here, obviously if you're old hat at the game you've been here many times before. Let's go see what he's got this week. Not the best week if I'm honest guys, looking at that straight away, I'm not too impressed. The previous couple of weeks have been reasonable but... Mm, not so much this time. Starting at the end here for the Warlock, we have Eye of Another World. Looks fairly nice. I mean, it's a bit of a weird setup. Lends itself well to shaders. Highlights priority targets and improves the regeneration speed of your grenade melee and rift abilities. But the improvement is very slow. It's not a lot. It's really minor, guys. So just bear that one in mind. Uh, show you some shaders on it. There you go does look pretty good i quite like the design but really much for me that's all it's got going for it i don't really think it's too special so i'd be inclined to say leave that one guys unless you're doing a collection yeah collecting stuff okay severance enclosure for the titan he's had this one pretty often to be honest with you this is pretty common with him now he's had this one quite a lot powered melee final blows unleash a damaging explosion finishes and final blows against more powerful targets increase the radius and damage of the explosion well it's only final blows that do that the rest of the time it just sits idle and does absolutely nothing so again in my opinion not the best certainly that right there for the titan it looks interesting it looks like it's got a sort of maybe a ghost in the middle of it you know with the eye there i don't know it looks like a ghost to me but uh yeah, not bad looking with certain shaders on it. But again, nah, let's, let's leave that. Ophelia Path, I think it's pronounced, grants two knives per charge. And that's it. That's all it does. So again, it's not very good. There's way better out there for the hunter. And looks wise, I quite like the snakes on the front of it. I think they're pretty good. Try a callous shader. Maybe it's not. I always think red and gold is callous, I don't know about you guys, but still. Not bad, not bad, not great. So again, let's leave it, we've been very well on. Skyburner's Oath, this thing's ancient. A lot of you long-term players will have had this, tried it and put it back in your vault or got rid. This weapon lobs large explosive seeking slugs when you're firing from the hip. When you're aiming down the sights, the slugs travel faster and straight with higher damage and lower fire rate. Now, it's not how can i put this it's more like a grenade launcher that sticks to stuff than an actual rifle okay and that's why i personally didn't get on with it so it's handy for sticking something on a bad guy and sort of blowing everybody up around him but there's way better weapons in the game now it's been outclassed it's like that it was okay in its day but that was in its day and its day's gone so 29 shards would also leave that that leaves our exotic engram at 97 this is pretty expensive but if you're doing a collection obviously you know you've got a shards you can pick one of them off now i was asked last week by somebody can you buy the engram and one of these items and the answer is yes you can you can buy the engram and one of these items no problem at all it just depends how many shards you've got guys literally you know it's uh, your call so that's where he is real naff week in my opinion really wouldn't bother visiting him you know unless you're after something specific and you want to try a certain build that's up to you but thanks for watching we'll catch you again next time bye for now